Former Bison Dylan Radins logged his first career start in the NFL last night. The offensive lineman stepping in after a few unfortunate events took place for his teammates. Their starting left tackle didn't practice all week due to a back injury and his backup tested positive for COVID-19. So as the Titans team at the Titans team meeting at 10 a.m. Thursday morning, Radins got the news. He'd be starting at left tackle against the San Francisco 49ers, protecting the blind side, taking on a defense that features Nick Bosa, who entered the game with 15 sacks, just two and a half behind the league leader, TJ Watt. Now, Bosa left the game last night with 15 sacks, just two and a half behind the league leader. The nerves, I mean, he's a great pass rusher. Uh, he's great on both sides. We knew he was going to flip and flop. Uh, we knew we were going to get help. Um, so I had confidence in myself, confidence in my team. But yeah, like you said, it's Joe, I mean, it's Nick Bosa. I mean, he, he's a great one of the league's best pass rushers. So uh, uh, just being able to go up against him, uh, was, I was grateful for it. And it was, it was cool. I had a lot of mental preparation before this game, so I was pretty calm. But I mean, anybody goes out there, just imagine Thursday night game, prime time. It's your first start. You're, you're starting at left tackle. So uh, there's going to be nerves there. But overall, it was just exciting. Uh, I feel like I did uh, decent. There's obviously stuff to continue to improve on. Um, didn't feel like I did terrible. Obviously, the most important part is the team got out with a win, and I was able to fill that role. So. No, Dylan, you didn't do terrible. Nick Bosa took 23 snaps lined up against Raidens before switching to the opposite side for another 30 snaps. He ended his night with two pressures, one quarterback hurry, one QB hit, and that big old zero in the sacks column. Well, speaking of former Bison, Wyoming head football coach Craig Bull taking to Twitter to recruit a new quarterback. The former Bison football head coach making a statement selling his team as a landing spot for a transfer quarterback after the team's starter entered the transfer portal following their Idaho Potato Bowl win earlier this week. Bull referencing former Cowboy QB Josh Allen in his post. Allen transferred to Wyoming in 2015 before going seventh overall to the Buffalo Bills three years later in the NFL draft and the NHL announcing it will not resume its regular season until at least Tuesday. Now the NHL and NHL PA agreed to begin their holiday break last Wednesday due to the number of players and teams impacted by COVID-19. The original plan was to begin games again on Monday. That means the entire slate of 14 games scheduled for Monday have been postponed. Teams will return to practice on Sunday and it is expected that the NHL will update its return to play plans by Sunday night and the NBA G League season originally set to start on December 27th was postponed until January 5th. The decision was made today in an attempt to allow teams to safely return players after the Christmas holiday and give time to replenish their rosters following NBA call ups after several teams have experienced COVID-19 issues throughout the NBA, including the Minnesota Timberwolves, who you will remember had seven players on the health and safety list last night for their game against Utah, a 12 point loss for the Timberwolves last night. Keeping up with all the changes and postponements is its own full time job. <laughs> it feels like March 2020 all over yeah. again. Here we are. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Beth. Still to come, Eric is back with an update to your holiday weekend weather planner. Stay with us. Close.